This is Flatlander Mike here again from Saskatchewan, Canada. And uh, we're going to do something a little more different today. I'm um, going to replace some panels in my greenhouse. Now, I bought this greenhouse used. Um, I guess it's been two years now. Um, my advice, if you buy a used one, make sure you have lots of time and lots of patience. Because uh, they recommend that you silicone all the edges onto it and uh, it gives it strength. And then, um, so when you take it apart, I had to take it all apart. So then you have to cut the silicone off and then you have to clean all the silicone off. Um, alcohol or whatever you can use um, to uh, get most of the silicone off if you can. So uh, anyway, uh, I did build this last uh, two years ago uh, put a nice uh, bottom on it I'll just turn the camera here um, so it's uh, those uh, I think they're 16 by 16 paving stones um, like paving tiles and uh, move this out of the way here okay so there, there you can see uh, the 16 by 16 now it's got a gravel base um, I dug the dirt out and I put um, ties, sort of like, uh, I guess, six by sixes all the way around, pressure treated all the way around the edge. Um, then I put uh, two by fours on top of them, treated, so you can see the two by fours. And um, these corners, that corner down there, the plywood was, was made when I bought it. So uh, what I did was I just squared it and put those corners in, make sure it's square. Um, I've got, uh, let me see, we've got a, a pipe here. It's a heat pipe, comes from my garage. I've got a furnace in my garage, like a house furnace. And there's a pipe that comes all the way across from the other side, over here, and then comes across and then down the wall, and then through the wall here. and. Uh, now it doesn't keep it warm enough in the winter time, minus 25, 30. Uh, it's still pretty cold in here. So um, uh, everything freezes. So it's, it's not good to, to plant your, your uh, stuff in here and leave it in here uh, too early. Uh, it's mostly transplanting and I uh, bring my flowers and stuff in here um, that are started or if I buy flowers then uh, I put bring them in here and I put them on the benches here at night or I leave them in here and uh, open the door the door is just a sliding door here um, so I do that at night so they don't freeze because we get frost uh, into May uh, we usually don't plant outside until the long weekend in May which is the third weekend so uh, anyway so the problem I had was this panel here uh, broke and it collapsed because I have a roof up here from my garage and the snow kind of accumulated on here and it was a weak panel anyway now you can tell if it's a weak panel um, if you don't know if you can notice it but this panel here is starting to go to um, they get degraded from the um, UV light and I know they're not supposed to but uh, they do and so it's sort of has a yellow tinge to it um, so I'm going to replace that also uh, now this is a, maybe I can show you the difference here this is a panel I took out I decided to put all new panels in the roof um, these are the panels I have two yellow yellow panels and they're uh, UV degraded here you see they're so brittle um, and you can see the difference here between the, the two panels one is uh, this one is kind of yellowy, and this one's still pretty uh, pretty good. Now, when I got it, there was uh, uh, stuff on it that said which way was out, which would be treated with UV. Now, the new panels I got don't have that, so uh, they come with uh, a, a cover on both sides, plastic oops, plastic cover on both sides, but it doesn't say which side is. You be treated, so maybe they both are. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, now I had to cut them down a little bit. Um, I've already got uh, three of them done, 
So they are sil siliconed on. I silicone when I put them on the other ones. I silicone along the edges. Now what that does is stop it from popping through if it has weight on it like snow load. And then uh, at the top you put a bead of silicone underneath at the very top. And then that kind of holds the top down. Um, there's a couple of caps that go on here. They're gutters. And they also uh, provide a lip to hold these panels in. So um, anyway, so it didn't tell me which way is which. So hopefully uh, they're going to be okay. Um, I guess we'll find out. Uh, I do have extra panels here now that I can use. But uh, I bought 15 of these panels on Amazon and they were uh, really cheap. Um, a lot of the, most of them are uh, three and five panels and they're like $150, $200. Uh, I got uh, 15 panels for $129 and I was just looking at um, the clear ones and they are uh, same amount, 15 of them and they are uh, $138 now so it's getting closer to spring and uh, I think they're asking more money so what we're going to do is I'm going to put this one in so I'm going to try and do this with one hand okay so I'm going to start it here and start it here I had to cut it now you got to leave a little edge or space so it has to be a little bit smaller okay so it just kind of we're just going to slide it in because when it gets hot outside it does does expand fairly rapidly so you don't want it too tight um, left and also on the edges you want don't want to leave too much um, too much of a uh, the clear part See, there's like little vertical pieces in here. So uh, that's strength too. So you don't want to cut it right next to this, on this side of the line, so that you have this much that isn't, um, that's not supported. So what I did was I measured my uh, 32 inches across, I think it was, or 33, and then I put a mark and then I took it back to the middle of this space here and then uh, that's sufficient that's that's good so I've got a, actually in here there's a there's a, a vertical support that's inside of there so um, what I'm going to do is I have to kind of lift this up and get it started there okay back over here okay and then I just push it right up Okay, so now we're, it's in all the way. So all we're gonna do is just slide in our other pieces. So I've got, there's two pieces. I think one's longer than the other. Yeah, so the longer one goes first. Okay, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just put this out here. Okay. Okay, I got a rag here. It's got some crap inside. So I'm going to take a rag and I'm going to clean that out. Now you got to clean the silicone as much as you can. The old silicone off because silicone usually doesn't stick to other silicone. So when I'm rubbing this, you can see a little bit of silicone coming off. It's uh. Now I'm not going to seal silicone it in right now. I'm going to wait till it warms up a little bit. We're just a little bit over freezing today. Um, it's a little cooler day and it's kind of wet and we had some freezing rain this morning. So, but I wanted to get uh, these pieces in. Hopefully we don't get a lot of snow that'll pop those panels out again. But because that weight of the snow is pretty hard on them. Uh, so anyway, so you can see a little bit of dirt in there. That's okay. This is a gutter and uh, it's also a 
kind of a channel that kind of slips in. So you got to slip it in from the end. Okay. So uh, if you, you can see there's uh, in this end, there's uh, screw holes. And they um, actually get bolted in. Let's see where the, they go in there and they get bolted through there with uh, nuts and bolts like that. They're stainless steel. So, okay, so we'll go outside now and we'll uh, kind of put this in. Uh, try and do this without. Okay, so there is a channel. You see the channel there? Two, two extrudings. Now I see there's uh, crap in that channel, so I'm going to just grab my knife. I'm going to stick that knife in there and just kind of clean it out. Try and clean some of that gravel and get it out of there so it'll slip back in. Now I don't know how much time it took me to put, I put it up in about five hours complete, from, um, completely apart. Uh, so it wasn't too bad. Um, but like I said, if you don't have lots of time to scrape it all down then buy a new one it's much easier to start from scratch okay so we'll go back outside try and put this in okay so we're gonna try and put this in here down okay so now we're gonna bring it all the way down here okay so right here we got a joint so we're gonna pull that out even there it goes ouch Whoop. There, so make sure the panels are up all the way. Okay, I'm gonna bring it back. Now this was a little tight here. Okay, so you can see my bolt holes here. I'm going to uh, ah. okay. Try and uh, tap it with the hammer. There we go. So we're gonna till we line up. So we got all the bolt holes lined up, and we're good here. Okay. I'll do the same with the second one and I'll come back okay so we're gonna put this uh, next piece in so I think I'm gonna put a couple of bolts in here just to stop it from moving two So we got three in there now. I'll uh, start this one here. So we got our bolt holes at this end. And we're going to start it.
I think I'm going to have to get a gimbal so I can move this thing around, camera around without driving you crazy. Okay, it's going to slide it in. There we go. Okay, so just got to put the bolts in. I might have to get my son out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these bolts in. Uh, one, two, three. I got three bolts. Okay, so I'm going to put these in and then I'm going to just try and move it a little bit. Just to jam the bolt in there so I can put the nut on by myself. Um, it's either that or get my son out here to hold the bolt. Which I can be doing... He's old enough, he should know how to do this. Okay, so we just gonna try to give it a little bit of pressure on there. We'll try it and if it doesn't work. Yeah, gonna have to get help. Okay, so I'll get some help here. Okay, so we're uh, starting okay, back here. Mm -hmm. I've got my son on the outside holding the bolts in. You can probably see them. It's a little wet anyway. And uh, just starting these bolts. Starting the nuts on the bolts. Okay, oh, yeah, doesn't matter which one. So now I'm just going to tighten them down. They're 10 millimeter nuts. And that holds the, uh, the gutters in. Holds the side together. Makes it more rigid. And the last one. go okay thank you Jeremy mm -hmm. so uh, got the roof all done now and uh, probably uh, uh, maybe later on in the summer I'll do the the rest of it the rest of the roof I'll do uh, these other panels uh, I see one this one here starting to turn yellow and then I got this one so uh, yeah uh, the other thing I, I did was I put a fan in here, a couple of fans off, off uh, Amazon. I did get a um, solar panel to recharge the battery, but I haven't used it. I just have a battery charger, and I just run it down. I ran it to a, a uh, thermostat here so that it kicks in uh, when the temperature reaches a certain amount. It... Uh, it kicks in and tries to cool it down but it gets really hot in here in the summertime uh, this is south facing so uh, it gets the complete heat of the Sun all day and uh, so it does really get it hot so so anyway we're done for now um, hopefully we're gonna uh, get some planting done pretty soon um, it is uh, pretty nice um, it's been warming up, so it is only the middle of March, so anyway, we could still get snow. Hopefully it don't. So, till next time, Flatlander Mike, signing off.